Drink, drink it all! My 18th birthday, which is the legal drinking age where I'm from, I threw an absolute rager for myself. But when the party died down, because my friend lied down and we thought he died, I wanted to calm everyone down by watching Ratatouille. So I grabbed my laptop, connected it to the TV, and searched on YouTube, Ratatouille. But given how much water I had drank, I thought that this was the real Ratatouille. But what I found was something so much worse. It wasn't Ratatouille. It was Ratatouille. It was a... Hello, and welcome to The Knockoff Theater, sponsored by Shein. Shein, try our new eco-friendly clothing line made from the skin of our own Shein sweatshop workers. All right. I found three of the worst knockoff animated movies in existence, and I'm forcing you to watch them with me. So grab your tape, tape your eyelids uh. open so you physically cannot close your eyes during the horrendous sights you're about to see, and let's begin. Let me just say that if I take this tape off and my eyebrows come with it, you will not be seeing me for months. Ratatouille, the marvelous city, land of sun and heat, the way they avoid saying that it's specifically Rio de Janeiro, but show the massive Jesus statue on the hill that isn't every city, that could be any city. Statue of Liberty, I'm pretty sure they have a giant Jesus. If you squint your eyes, it might look like the Eiffel Tower. It seems that everyone, even from distant places, wants to come to this restaurant just to taste the famous recipes served there at Ratatouille. We're already straying away from the plot, and in Ratatouille, the restaurant wasn't called Ratatouille. Oh, I must say that smells delicious. Bro is eating actual diarrhea. Wonderful food. Huh? What the heck is this? <laughs> that's a, that's just Chipotle. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like Gorgonzola? Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Who are you? Hello. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto stripper looking ass. And for you, the worm burger with cheddar. Junior, you really need to stop eating the junk food. It's not healthy for you. Yes, Daddy, I love cheddar. Is that so? But that ain't cheese. It's just plastic. You're kidding. That's okay, Mom. As it happens, I'm also very partial to plastic. Wait, 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 wait. Based! I hope you all enjoy your wonderful dinner. What the fuck did her eye just do? Either she's having a stroke or she's winked at that child rat. Make with that information however you please. I'm sorry, but I don't usually like ice cream unless I'm certain that it's absolutely fresh. There's no need for you to worry here, madam, because our ice cream is always served fresh. You don't say! But how is that possible? No, no, because they're on to something. What is fresh ice cream? Isn't the opposite of fresh literally frozen? Last time I checked, ice cream is not soap. What is the secret of the great flavor in every one of the dishes you prepare? All right, I'll tell you. Oh, now's our chance. The actual secret ingredient that can be found in all of the food prepared here is lots of... Come on, out with it. Lots and lots and lots of... With lots of... With lots and lots and lots This of... guy is just driving me crazy! The dishes are prepared with the secret ingredient of a lot of dedication and care. Oh. I want an R-rated version of this where they just stab him repeatedly after saying that. If we can find out their secret, we can go back to being a great restaurant. I'm sure that if Ratatouille wasn't in business, we would have to be considered the best. We used to get lots of customers. Okay, okay, a miracle is happening and I'm understanding the plot. So these rats own a rival restaurant to Ratatouille and they're trying to steal the secret formula that Ratatouille uses. This is actually such an original concept. I've never seen this been done before. <laughs> I don't think I've, I have or will ever see this much rat crotch in my life. Also, why is this turning into an anime opening? Wow, you won't believe it. What a bonanza. Guess what I found down there. What is it? Strawberries. <laughs> this rat's really dressed up like Navy SEALs about to assassinate Vladimir Putin in a top secret sting operation when they're stealing strawberries. They're taking one strawberry. Now bring me the strawberry. Huh? Uh. Huh? Did they model these rats after like a 90 year old man that just got double knee and hip surgery? OK, 
Okay, guys, when I say now, we put our great plan in motion. One, two, three, now! Okay, I'm really struggling to follow the plot, but I think what's happening is the evil rats went to a human restaurant and popped the little russies to try and scare the humans off so they could take all the human food for their own stuff because they figured out that that is a secret formula. It's fresh food, not rat food. I, I think that's what the dance number was for. Ah, it's incredible. There's so much fresh food here tonight. Marcel! <laughs> Be careful, Marcel. I have a bad feeling about tonight. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, no. What do I do? Well, give up! Oh my, oh my god, that actually scared me. This movie actually managed to elicit an emotion in my brain! Uh-uh, take that thing straight to the pound. Immediate euthanasia. That is a Demogorgon, that is not a fucking cat. What is that? No, what is that? Did the animators just spend so much time trying to figure out how to draw a rat that they forgot what a cat looks like? We just completed the first step. We destroyed the reputation of rat tattooing. I'm just realizing that I genuinely can't tell what their accents are. It's like, maybe British, but maybe American. Come on, Greg, we have to grab as much of this cheese as we can. Why do they have a can in their kitchen called Dick Tomato? Yeah! Yeah! Hold it right there. Give us everything you have in your bags and make it quick. Oh my God, these, these poor rats can't catch a break. They're being chased by a cat and then robbed the next second. Hey, look behind you guys. It's a monster. You must really think we're idiots. First, you think we don't know about the rat traps and now you give us the old behind you bit. Wait, did this movie just have like the, the most fleeting, the most small moment of self-awareness, what was that? As long as we have our secret weapon, we won't have a rodent problem. So rat traps aren't needed here anymore. No rats will dare come around while our cat's on duty. Okay, uh, just for clarity, that was a wink. They played the wink sound effect, which means that that first wink that the girl did was not a wink and she was actually just having a stroke. Almost everything seemed to be back to normal. I said almost everything, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, that was absolutely god awful. That shit made no sense. It literally had nothing to do with the original Ratatouille, except A, have rats, and B, have food. And I don't know if I've hated anything more, but we're about to find out, because we're about to watch the knockoff of Up called What's Up? <laughs> So I guess the uh, the old guy in this horrific alternate universe is like a famous scientist and he found this magical rock that can hypnotize the whole world and it's only activated with a secret password that he that he blurts out on live TV. Dr. Zooks, nobody knows that you have to activate it with a secret password. Lavender. No one says lavender anymore. Oh, the subject, please. Also, his uh, nephew looks like undeveloped sperm. So tell us, what's the maximum altitude this house can be lifted by the rock? If I use this control here, I'm able to go up and down, ascend up, and descend. Wait, did anyone notice he just said... Which is the up button? This arrow right on the top. Mm -hmm. This one? This one here? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon moi. Is this perhaps the home of Monster Chessers? That's right. 
Please, come in. I am Jean-Pierre Delacroix, the great Amazon adventurer. All right, if you've got your bad movie knockoff checklist in hand, make sure you check off the box that says random European accent that does not fit in at all. We've got that covered. I encountered a terrible monster deep in a cave in the Amazon, and he really, really needs to be chased. No way, a monster in the Amazon? Awesome. We were like light years away from the plot of Up right now. Don't you think we could help, Jean-Pierre? Impossible. I don't like traveling, and I'm afraid of heights. Besides, the Amazon is no small potato. Potato? The way, like, good Up is about a man that wants to, like, go to the vacation destination that his dead wife always wanted to go to. And this Up is about... Potato? What's going on? <laughs> We're in the clouds. I can't believe it. We can visit Paris. When we arrive there, you'll all be in for a little surprise. <laughs> I can't wait to hypnotize as many people as possible. Does sound not carry in this house? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that if you're in the same living room with the people that you just lied to, I need to blink so bad. Ah! If you're in the same living room with the people that you just lied to saying you wanted the crystal to defeat the monsters with, they will probably hear you when you just move to the window and say, I want to hypnotize as many people as possible. <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. <laughs> mm. This is fucking goofy. They have the goofy meter turned up to 10,000%. That is Minecraft TNT. <laughs> They, they do this at literally any inconvenience. Finally, it's my turn. My turn to put the whole world to sleep. Le Vendeur! Hmm. 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 Maybe it's my accent, perhaps? Hmm. Le Vendeur! Le Vendeur! <laughs> Le Vendeur! <laughs> Wait, he can't pronounce lavender because he's French. Well, Dr. Zooks, do you have anything that can lift a huge boulder? It's no use. Those boulders are too large. And they're cutting off the air supply. We're going to suffocate without air. I think we're done for. Woo! Roll the credits. Kill them all. 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 <laughs> ah, I'm going to make the whole world listen to me. <laughs> Perhaps they'll do nothing, perhaps they'll blow kisses. I'm a genius. <laughs> Blood just casually opened the portal to hell. Ah, I never would have thought flying in a balloon would be so much fun. Uh-oh, was he not just bitching and moaning about his fear of heights and now he's just precariously perched on the front porch of their house that's suspended in the air? The Monster is attacking the Eiffel Tower. La Tour Eiffel, mon Dieu, my tower. So the monsters that they summoned, uh, for some reason, are attacking Paris. And and how did they find that out? You might ask. But how did you discover that, Doctor Crumb? Does that supersonic radar scan that far? No, I just put the words "attack" and "monster" into Google, and voila! <laughs> So they defeated the monster in like literally two seconds and now the French dude is trying to tap the little dude's sister But doesn't like the little dude so he gave him candy Okay, so that was not candy that was fentanyl Adventure is for the young mon chéri. It's just you and I The correct phrase is me and you Jean-Pierre all right, the plot's moving fast. Now the French dude drugged the uncles and they're in China for some reason. Go ahead and sleep, uncle. You need your rest. Oh, oh, it's because uh, the monster's attacking the Great Wall of China. Because <gasps> not another completely random landmark under attack from the monsters. Oh! Don't worry, I will save you, Mon Amour. Let's get this monster and then I will hypnotize the whole world. What did you say, Jean-Pierre? I was speaking French, mon petit. You don't understand. You don't think I heard what you said? No, no, uh, no. Holy shit, bud. The fucking gaslighting goes crazy. Oh, no. What was that? Oh. No one back home will believe this. Chunky camera made in China. Battery dead already. Oh, Jesus. I... I just know that's a white man voicing him. Arigato. No problem, but Arigato is Japanese. I'm Chinese. My name is Ching Ling. Hello. 
You can't catch me, la 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 la. Look here, I'm a big chewy cookie and you're on a diet. Come and get me. Why do you look like a Lady Gaga Oreo? <laughs> How did he get in there, Guto? I don't want that Chinese guy in there with my monsters. He didn't even say anything when I showed him the cookie. Did you try showing him a fortune cookie? That could work. What do you mean, Unc? <laughs> Never mind. That was just a bad joke. Anyways, they defeated the monster and the girl starts telling the uncle the truth. Well, uncle, I need to tell you something. Jean-Pierre and I... We did a bad thing. And I think he thinks that she's gonna say that her and the French dude smashed, but she says... You don't need to say anything, Amanda. If you like him, then someday I'll come to like him too. But if he makes you happy... We put sleeping pills in your tea. <laughs> but it's too late because the French guy has them under mind control. Because he uh, used Duolingo and found out how to pronounce lavender, Never I guess. More. You <laughs> conniving! How could I have been so blind, giving my heart to you? Now all of you shall obey. Lavender. La. <laughs> Kuto, blow kisses. <laughs> Guto, I ordered you! Kisses! He shit himself, I think. The portal is open! We just need to throw the monsters into the hole! Hey, Beijing! Give me a hand, will ya? Beijing! Jeez! Perfect, China! I promise to give you some Mugu Gai Pan when we get back to the house! What?! Did I have a fucking family member produce this? Why is there someone with the same last name as me? We have Plan B. This came out in 2007. It has a rating on IMDb of 1.4, not out of 5. Out of 10 stars. It looks absolutely horrible, which is why I'm excited to watch it with you. What awesome flowers! Hey, you're like kidding, right? Daisies are so last century. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a hard watch. Mmm, <laughs> tangy! So apparently in the Plan B cinematic universe, the bees drink by having a giant hot dog wiener protrude from their lifeless face, and that's how they drink. I'd need to blink so bad. Smell that? Flowers in full bloom. Don't you love being a bee? If I was one of these bees, I would sting the nearest toddler to me to instantly kill myself. What, that moment when you, you and the boys uh, pull out your three foot long hot dog wiener and fill a bowl of pee together. Where, where's Queen Beatrice? Gone. Punished. Okay, so I guess they have like a like an evil queen that took over who wants them to make as much honey as physically possible. What's this? It's so honey. But they're so little. Yeah. I want more honey now. Meanwhile, their real queen went to a different hive because, well, I don't know. Because I'm really trying to understand the plot here. Also, something's telling me that this bee looks like Anya Taylor Joy. Let's move on. From now on, drill and drain. Uh, okay, that's enough. I don't think so. As if. Like, ew. Have you guys seen the TikToks of the man cutting bees in half with scissors? I would love to do that to Buffy. Mm hmm. You and I would make a pretty good pollinating team. <laughs> oh, she wants Bing to pollinate her hive, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you shall compete to see which team can produce more honey in one hour. Oh boy, what does the winner get? Sips. The winner? The winner receives nothing! This is, this is just Mr. Beast. If Mr. Beast was evil and a bee. Mr. Beast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was fucked up. Oh, that- 
<laughs> They're not winning that competition. Why does this take place, like, outside the White House? Like, jo Joe Biden is behind them, like, ordering drone strikes. While the bees are just outside giving these flowers the Gok Gok 9000 so they don't get beat to death by their queen. Maybe that. Maybe I do understand the plot. Disturbing, a floral tribute to George Washington. It's not like we're littering. Hello. Yeah, and Washington loved honey. If we're being real, I don't know what George Washington did. I'm from Canada. We didn't learn about that. We can't lose a Keith's contest. We have no choice. We do have a choice. Like Washington, you know? He could have been king, but he chose democracy. Uh, oh, well, now I know. I didn't know where I would get that information from one day, but I did not expect it to come from Plan B, the movie. <sighs> Captain, shh! The toad! Uh-oh. The toad! Ah, ah. She has more action than, like, a Marvel movie. What is going on here? The contest winner is... Belza. Belza has more honey. Yeah, because he stole mine. Damn, the evil bee want. Belza? Be I can't remember the name. Why do all of their names start with B? And saying that out loud makes me realize how stupid I fucking am. It is. They're bees. B. Look at it. Glistening. Pure. Gold. I want more. Is she about a bust or what? <laughs> I'm Miss Pisto! Who is the voice actor responsible for that beat? What if you psychos is getting the death penalty if I have something to do with it? Joey, are you eating the honeycomb? Uh, maybe? This bitch is eating the walls. He's just eating drywall. Sleep privileges are cancelled. Starting now, you work 24-7 making honey and expanding the hive. Get the one there! This surprisingly, like, has a message. It's very, like, anti-capitalist vibe. The Lincoln Memorial. Yep. A monument dedicated to Abraham Lincoln, the president who ended slavery. And here we are busting our behinds before dawn without so much as a thank you. Like slaves. And I get the irony. Bonnie, let it go. Oh, don't go there. Don't go there, Plan B, please. You woke me. Feed me a pre-breakfast snack. So I guess the new queen woke up and wanted royal jelly. So Bing went over to the old queen's house where he shaked his ass and peed in a pot of honey and then it turned into lean for some reason. And then they brought it back to the old queen. Ew, that is so gnarly. Now where's the honey? I don't have any and I don't care. What? <laughs> Your freakish obsession is destroying our hive. Why do I have like goosebumps from his acting? <laughs> you won't have Bing. All right, never mind. I take it back. Now let's talk about our queen. Her duty is to maintain bee happiness, yet Akif makes us miserable. So I ask the Council of Elders, why did you make her queen? Okay, fine. So I tried to bump off a few old bees. So what? I was born to be queen. I love the classic villain reveal where they say, So what if I... And then list off war crimes. Belza, seal the exits. This time there's no escape. Prepare to die. Oh my god, they're hitting him from behind, too. <laughs> Why couldn't they just spend like a minute longer, just a minute longer, on thinking of a different way to make the bees attack other than just aggressively humping each other? I shall return to reclaim my throne. Oh, please. Please do not tell me they're setting things up for a sequel. Next time! Yeah, her! Next time! Ah! Oh. Thank god. Long live the queen! I think you should come live in our hive.
What absolutely kills me about this movie is I don't think a single person that worked on it ever thought for a second that this movie was bad. And you know what? They are correct, because this shit was awesome! I love the anti-capitalist message. I love how timeless it is. Overall, very good. I'm gonna give it a four to five. I hope you enjoyed. And I love you very much. Thanks for suffering with me. We had a good time together. Bye! Bye bye Bing! Bye bye Bing!